YouTube, it's Jake Albert Sweden and today I'm doing a little tutorial on um, editing clothes and uh, tattoos slash glove textures into Pipe for version 2.0, the beta branch has just gone live as the official version. Um, it's going to be a bit different to the usual procedure and I'm going to explain this shortly. Uh, but what I'm going to say as well is, um, uh, currently the custom hats, because you have to add a script for uh, custom hats to work, um, the textures. That is not really working, uh, it's only basic at the moment, so like you can replace the body textures and whatnot, and the clothing textures. Um, there's a weird process we're going to go through, you're going to need Unity Asset Bundle Extractor, there'll be a link to that in the description, or you can drop it in the pipe discard, and uh, you find your textures here, and then grab it from the programs here. And uh, thank you for Line Rider and um, Boise for figuring this method out. Um, links to their social medias and channels will be in the description. And if you see them on Discord, tell them thank you. So, first things first, you're going to need to go to your streaming assets and your pipe data. If you don't know what your pipe data folder is, go to your Steam here, library, uh, scroll down to pipe, go to properties, local files, browse local files, and you'll, you'll have this. It's uh, good to pin this to your quick access. Uh, I have I've pinned pipe there. Whoa, whoa, we don't want to do that. What the fuck? You know, it just happened. But it's useful to pin to your sidebar. Um, I've got both pipe and pipe data pinned. I'm going to go into pipe data and into streaming assets. And you're going to have a file called characters. Um, you're going to want to make uh, a copy of this and just copy it to your desktop. And uh, rename this one to dash old. And then we can uh, we can minimize this now, but make sure you keep that location. So now you've got this, and uh, you've got Unity Asset Bundle Extractor. Just extract it to your desktop and double click the EXE. We are going to be um, opening this characters file. Not loading a package. Um, open this characters file here on your desktop. And uh, you want to export this, like there's two CAM files, one's a dot res. Um, I'm going to export this one to um, ca characters export. So save that to your desktop. And then just save this to um, characters. If I can spell characters that would be nice. Save this to characters, uh, but make sure you put at the end dot res and a capital S so it saves it as a proper file extension. So you've got these two files now. You've got the characters export and the characters dot res. So you're gonna need to use the uh, res to import it back in. But um, now we can go file open, and you want to open the character export one, as this has the uh, path IDs, but they will actually be path IDs because you've unpacked this file, the characters file. Um, so it's just me a mess of path IDs, so you're just going to have to find the name manually. And obviously we're going to be doing the uh, pants, a t-shirt, uh, some Janoski shoes and some tattoos. So we're going to be looking for um, pants, shirt, shoes and the body colour. So I'm going to leave these in my top right there. Um, just so you can kind of watch along and see what I'm doing and we'll go through. So first we need to find the pants, so the pants is going to be pants underscore colour underscore 2048. Um, so the best way to do this is just sort by name, scroll down to start seeing the P's. Or better yet, just press P. There we go. Pants colour. Make sure it's the texture 2D type there. And then just click plugins, double click edit and then click load. Go to your desktop, and I've got these uh, kind of beige pants, like chino colour. And just click OK, OK again, OK. And it will uh, add it, so that's added. Then we're going to do a shirt, shirt colour 248, make sure it's texture 2D again. Plugins, double click edit, load. And we've got this red camo one, OK. It's OK again, OK. There we go. And then Ooh. Then we need to find the shoes. So shoes color two four eight, texture two D again. Plugins. Double click edit. Click load. SB the uh, Janoski shoes. Rather rather suave. And just press OK. And then we're gonna do the body one. 
So if I just press B, press B a few times, it'll scroll for all the things that have got a B in the name. There we go, body colour. Make sure it's texture 2D again. Plugins, double click edit, load, and it's called white socks, but as you can see it adds tattoos to the arms now. And we'll just press OK and OK and OK. Now we can save this. Yep, save this as characters clothes new. So I'm gonna save it as. And once it's saved this version, there we go, it's saved it here. So we're gonna have a lot of files, you'll be a bit confused now. The export one that we've just edited and saved a new version of with the clothes we can delete. And we're gonna have the res file and the character clothes new. We're gonna open Unity Asset Bundle Extractor again. And we're gonna open the original unpacked characters file which we extracted the um the two files from. And then we're gonna be importing this time. So we'll import, click on all types. So make sure I've got the top one selected here, which is the clothes new one, because this is not the .res file. We'll just click open. So that's imported now, and then click this drop down, so it's got the .res one, and just click import, all files, and make sure you selected the characters .res. Um, the only reason you have to re-import the .res is it's like a constraint file or something. I don't really know. But basically, you've now fully edited it, so you can now press save. And then go to your pipe data folder, streaming assets again, and uh, just save this as characters. You don't have to put a file extension, just save it as characters, all types. And if we go there and check now, it'll just be called characters and it'll be a file, but the game will read this. And now we can jump in game and we'll see his new clothing. So then, as you can see, we're now in game and uh, we've got the beige pants. The um, Nike Janoski, as you can see, a little just do it tick, the swoosh on the shoes, and we've got our red camo t shirt. I believe you can do the um, like character mods where like you can delete the facial hair and hair. Um, I'm not sure about adding helmets and stuff at the moment, as uh, the new updates kind of changed the way we do stuff like this. Because as you can see, the path IDs um, were like in shared assets too, they're in the streaming assets file for some reason. I'm not too clued up on the logistics of it. I'm just, you know, I'm I'm <laughs> doing what uh, Boise and Line Rider have told me. Which big props to them boys. Check out their stuffs in the description. And yeah, if the tutorial helped you, um, drop a like, sub, and comment if you've got any problems. Or at me in the Pipe Discord or in the Help channel. Uh, there's also a new feature on the Pipe Discord where you can request help by a uh, team viewer uh, or Discord screen share. Um, and one of the staff will help you in there. So yeah, um, I'm going to create more tutorials as I figure them out. Uh, if the um, you know facial hair removal and stuff still works and whatnot, then I'll, I'll do that. And uh, just so you know how to do it then. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you boys in the next video.